to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and in this video, we're going to take a look at longest match routing, specifically dealing with static routes. And what we've got here is a typical practice topology, two routers. You can see we have a fast Ethernet link between R1 and R2, 10.10.12.1 and 10.10.12.2. Both are slash 24. We've got two loopback addresses on R1. We've got a loopback zero, all ones. It's a slash 32. And R2, we have a loopback zero, all twos, slash 32. Uh, we're going to be adding another loopback later on, but for now, this will work. And what we're going to do is first, we're going to set static routes going to the loopback addresses, and then we're going to ping it and make sure everything works. And then we're going to make that other loopback and put it in the two network, 2.2.2.1, and we'll make that a slash 24. We'll see if our routing still works. And then we'll make a competing static route and see which one wins. So here we go. We've got our routers already up and running. I've already done my IP addresses. And you can see there by my show IP int BR, all my interfaces are up, the loopbacks are up, and the IP addresses are set. So all I need to do is go to R1 and let's set a static route, IP route, and let's set it to go to the loopback of R2 and we'll make it go directly by specifying a slash 32 route. We're going to make it the most specific match that we can. And then we're going to send it out fast 00. So we'll do that. And then we'll go over to R2. We'll do the same thing coming back. We'll do conf t IP route. We want to go to the all ones. I'm going to make it a slash 32 route and we're going to say fast zero zero and hit enter right there. Okay, so let's do a show IP route on R1 and you can see here we've got a static route to all twos right there and we're saying we can get to the two network slash 32 and let's ping the IP address from R1 and we have a successful ping. Let's hit the up arrow and ping the IP address from source loopback zero and we have a good ping as well and that is because we have a static route on r2 sending it back to loopback zero all right so that's pretty easy that's not too bad now let's put another loopback address let's go over here let's make some notes loopback uh, let's call it loopback one and let's make it 2.2.2.1 and make it a slash 24. Kind of interesting, isn't it? So we'll put it down here. So we're going to go back to R1. Conf T, interface loopback 1, IP address 2.2.2.1, and it's a slash 24. Let's exit out of there. Do a show IP int BR. Pretty interesting, right? So I got a 2.2.2.1. And then over here, we've got a 2.2.2.2 slash 32. Let's see if our ping still works. So ping all twos. Hey, it works. Ping source loop back zero. And it works. Hmm, pretty interesting. Now, let's do a show IP route and see what's happening here. So you can see here, we've got a connected route right here. And it's a slash 24. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, why does this work? Because... 2.2.2.2 is within my connected route there. It's in 2.2.2.0 slash 24. Well, the reason it works is because routing uses what's called the longest match rule. So longest match rule means that if you're trying to ping an address, and in this case, we're trying to ping the all twos, it's going to look in your routing table and it's going to find matches. So here, it's going to look down the thing and it's going to say, oh, hey, we've got a static route and actually, it's not even concerned about what route it is first. It's just looking at the IP match and the mask. So right here it says, hey, it's a slash 32. It matches everything. So that's the most specific match possible. Right here, I've got another route. It matches the first three spots because it's a slash 24. doesn't match in the last spot. So what happens here is that static route is going to win. Even though a static route... If you look at administrative distances, a connected route will beat a static route. But in our case here, because of the longest match rule, it doesn't even make it to that point. 
Now let's try something interesting. Let's ping it from source loopback1. Let's see if it works. Oh, it looks like it's going to die out there. And the reason it dies out, it's not really because of R1's fault. It's because if we go to R2 and we do a show IP route, you'll see that R2 has no way of getting to 2.2.2.1. But I bet you that if we do a conf t and do an IP route 2.2.2.1 and make it go to that slash 32, then we could probably make this work. Might be able to get away with putting it as a slash 24, but let's see how we could do that. Ooh, look at that. Let's see. Okay, we need to do IP route 2.2.2.0. And let's do a show IP route on R2. So this is sort of like a, a mirror image of the other side on R1. We've got a static route for the slash 24 going out R1, towards R1. We've got a connected route. That's our loopback 0. Let's just see if we can ping 2.2.2.1. And it works. Now the interesting test, ping 2.2.2.1 source loopback 0. Hey, it works too. And the reason this works, longest match routing, it's looking at the show IP route table. It's saying, well, okay, I'm trying to ping 2.2.2.1. It doesn't match my connected route at all because the connected route is for a slash 32, but it does match this route, which is, happens to be a static route. So I'm going to follow that logic. I'm going to chuck it out the fast Ethernet interface. Bam. R1 looks at it, sends it to the loopback. Loopback sends it back to R1. It looks it up in the routing table and says, hey, I've got a slash 32 match going to loopback 0, and it sends it out there. So everything works. Now let's see if we can purposely screw it up, if we can purposely mess this up. And we can actually do that if we look at our show IP route statement right there. If we get rid of this slash 32, we can definitely kill our routing to loopback 0 of R2. So we're going to do a show run pipe I. It's going to include everything that says route in it. I'm going to have a single static route. You can see there, IP route. Ooh, it's all twos and it's a slash 32. So we're going to kill that. So I'm going to right click, paste that in there, and I'm going to do control A to get to the beginning of the line and type in no. So no IP route, all twos, two five, slash 32, and it's a fast Ethernet 00. Now if I do a show IP route, you can see there that I have a connected interface 2.2.2.0 slash 24. So now what happens when I ping all twos, it's actually going to send it to loopback 0 and it's going to die out because I don't actually have a all twos in loopback zero, but it's going to send it out there anyways. See, that's pretty cool. So now I can actually make it work again by popping in back in that IP route. Let's do IP route 2.2.2.2. Fast zero zero. Hit the up arrow a couple times. And now we have a good ping. So remember, it's longest match routing. And there's a way to trick it. There's a way to trick it. If you can use the longest match routing rule to make specific routes go the wrong way if you wanted to. So this is a very good demonstration of that. Show IP route. Just to recap, here we've got a slash 32. And you can see it's a static route going to R2's loopback. We can ping it. If we get rid of it, then you'll see the longest match rule will pick the connected interface. And it actually sends it the wrong way because there is no 2.2.2.2 out on loopback 1. So give it a try at home. Set it up in GNS3. Pop in two routers. Give the IP addresses you see right here. And just play around with that. And you can see very easily that a lot of times 
when you have longest match routing, you're not even going to get into the administrative distances to make a routing decision.